Prince Harry visited Kaduna, promises to support wounded Nigerian soldiers. Good morning everyone and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we brought for you this morning. As our headline for this morning says that Prince Harry visits Kaduna, promises to support wounded Nigerian soldiers. It says here that as part of his activities in Nigeria, the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, has promised to help wounded soldiers. Prince Harry pledged that this he pledged this during his visit to Governor Ubasani in Kaduna State on Friday. Welcoming the Prince, Governor Sani commended him for identifying with the Nigerian Armed Force and supporting soldiers who were wounded in action. He noted that such visits would go a long way in lifting the spirits of the brave and re resilient officers and soldiers. According to him, Prince Harry's visit is evidence of his commitment to inspiring recovery, supporting rehabilitation, and broadening respect for the Nigerian soldiers. On, the, on his part, Prince Harry said he is in Nigeria to use the in, in, Invictus. He is in the Niger, is in Nigeria to use the Invictus game, which he founded ten years ago, to put smile on the face of the wounded Nigerian soldiers and their family. In line with traditional hospitality, Governor Sani presented some gift items to Prince Harry and also decorated him in traditional house attire. From the Cardinal State Government house, house, Prince Harry and his team visited the 44 Nigerian Army Reference Hospital to interact with wounded soldiers who are receiving treatment. And that is all we have for us under this headline, which says that Prince Harry visits Kaduna, promises to give wounded soldiers, promises to support wounded Nigerian soldiers. And this headline says that Prince Harry is vis he visited Kaduna and promises to support wounded Nigerian soldier. Well, that is very much good. It says as part of as part of his activities in Nigeria, Prince Harry, who all know as some of us may know, some of us know him, he is the Duke of Sussex, one of the British one of the members of the British royal family. Prince Harry, he promised to help wounded soldiers in Nigeria, saying that he promised to help wounded soldiers in Nigeria. And the Prince Harry he said all this during his visit to Governor Sani of Kaduna State on Friday. Like when he go visit, when he went to visit the governor of the Kaduna State Governor Ubasani, he said that he was he's, he's going to help the wounded soldiers in the the, the wounded soldier in Kaduna State. And they all welcomed the prince, and Governor Sani applauded and commended him for identifying with the Nigerian armed force. Armed force, armed force. They said that they, 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 um, they commended him and applauded for him because of, he thought about the Nigerian armed force, the soldiers. He, he said and noted that such, such a visit, meaning such a visit, when saying that it will go a long way, saying that such a visit will go a long way. I really think that the, the governor of Cardinal State will really, really applaud, uh, like appreciate this man very well because he's one of the members of the British family, one of the most respected families in the world, and he's coming to Nigeria just for the Nigerian army. Like, is that, that is not common anywhere. That is not common anywhere. Said on this part, Prince Ari said that Nigerians to use this in to, to use the Invictus game. He said that on his part, Prince Harry said that he is in Nigeria to use his Invictus games. Saying that if we wish he, wish he founded 10 years ago, that Invictus game he founded 10 years ago. And he's going to put smiles on the face of wounded Nigerian soldiers. Saying he's going to put a lot of smiles on the face of the wounded Nigerian soldiers who fought and are getting wounded, like who fought and then wounded. Who lost each of their body parts in one way or the other due to violence? 
and the rest of forget that the Cardinalistic governor, out, out of appreciation, they they dressed him up in in, cash, in native um, Aousa attire, and from Cardinalistic government, has been Harry and the government and his, and his team, they all went and visited the 44 Nigerian Army Reference Hospital to interact with the wounded soldiers. They dressed him up in native Aousa attire, and then they went to visit the soldiers that he wanted to visit. But I would to, I would, what I would like to say about this man is that, he, although not being a citizen of Nigeria, but he's doing something that he's, he's doing something that no citizens can even do. That that's that, that's the sign of goodwill or good attributes we have there. That's a sign of good. That's a sign of a good heart. Well, I would tell you that it's not only the Nigerian soldiers who live in this country. There are other people dying on the streets. Yes, there are other people dying on the street. Who needs that kind of help? You are offering the Nigerian soldiers. But I would say what you are doing to the Nigerian soldier is an act of goodwill and is very good, so keep it up. And what do you guys think? I want you to drop your own comments in the comment section. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so as the notification bell.